am still figuring out my camera configuration, so this is where, where we're at. On this episode of What New Thing Am I Doing, I got what I hope is going to work um, for a keycap puller on my Razer um, Orb Weaver Chroma. I am probably going to pull this key and this key and replace them with my new Heroes Art keycaps. They have clay fish in them. I'm gonna see how this goes. Have I ever done this before? No. I have my computer up in case I need help, but yeah. So first things first, I guess I probably should open, open my keycap puller. Yeah, a place I worked uh, for a while wouldn't allow us pocket knives, so I uh, have a box cutter. And by a box cutter, I mean like four of the same exact brand, because these are super cool. Because they've got a little like button on them that holds it instead of having the latch back here so I can operate it with one hand, which is really nice, because I can never close regular pocket knives with one hand. Here's the actual keycap puller. I got a kit off of Amazon. The paintbrush is probably going to come in handy to just wipe off some of the dust that's inside of this because I have had, had it for a while. First things first, we are going to pull these keys. Pull straight up. Oh, that was simple. Great. And I think I want my blue koi fish here. And this is where it all went a little bit sideways, as I slowly realized that these keycaps are in fact not going to work on the orb weaver. Um, what I found out is that my the keycaps themselves are too tall. So the the razor caps, their attachment point goes out much further than the actual profile of the key. For the heroes are keycaps. Um, are pretty flush. And I probably could have realized that had I originally planned to do these on the Orb Weaver um, and realized that I probably need a different like profile. I still have the OEM ones. If I try to, to attach that, it's too, it's too, uh, not enough room there to attach. So I'm gonna build a keyboard eventually anyway. I could just start building my keyboard. Um, alternatively, and this is, I don't really want to do this one, is adjust the backs of the actual keycap to re like to, to lower the walls and allow the, um, the stem to come out a little bit further. I don't really want to do that portion because then if I do want to put these on a keyboard that I build, the profiles are going to be modified. And it's just a lot of general work. Not that it's impossible, I just, it's more work than I wanted to do at this point in time. Maybe I'll just show my my, uh, my little setup <laughs> for the remainder of the video. Because um, these keycaps are not going on in this video because they have nowhere to go. So this is my lovely setup. Heated blanket because I'm always freezing. Extra blanket because I'm also always freezing. And a lot of RGB because I got obsessed with it. So here's what the Orb Weaver looks like when it's actually on. Um, I have them all set to set to cycle, same with up here. So they're on a breathing RGB cycle, as well as a touch sensitive one. I have this, I'm on profile two because I've been playing a lot of Lens Island on Steam. Um, but the, the first program I have on it, I have programmed for Valheim um, because love Valheim. The really neat thing about the Orb Weaver is that, like I said, all of these buttons are programmable. So I can basically code like, oh yeah, for Valheim, this is my inventory all the time. Or if I need my hotbar, it's all up there. My desk is a little bit interesting, so the Orb Weaver makes it really easy to stay comfortable. The desk is all just Razor, except for those. Those came off of Amazon somewhere. So this guy is a Razor Basilisk V3. Um, yeah, so I've got my little mascots here. My friend got super into crocheting for a little bit, and so she made me a bunch of dinosaurs. Got a goat and a quokka, some fossils, 
Um, yeah, here's my glowing, my glowing orb. 3D printer because I'm doing my best. That's my... Oh yeah, there's this too. Got those off of Amazon. My lovely pre-built PC because I haven't gotten around to building one. And there's one that is specifically the wrong color for most of the cycle. And it's just wildin'. And of course, it's like right in my my general viewpoint. So it's just there. Also, these speakers cost like 20 bucks. And that you can change them. Yeah, so sorry that I couldn't do <laughs> my keycap video. Um, I will probably start doing some research on keyboards or like the pieces that I need to build them. I don't need a baseboard. I need switches, like, you know, like, hot swappable XYZ. Um, gotta figure out what actual switches I want, lubrication, pad, like, all that stuff. I gotta figure out what, like, clicky clicky sound I want, because, as we all know, that's important. I guess stay tuned, because I am full of chaos. Also, I have dinosaur earrings. But yeah, full of chaos. Um, I will keep posting things as I think of them. Thinking about doing a streaming video or two, either Lens Island, Valheim, like a play with me kind of game. Catch me next time on what new random thing am I doing? Peace.